In a body controlled swing, we tend to see a more closed front shoulder at the start of the forward swing. As you can see here from this above view swing with just the back arm on the left and just the front arm on the right, you can see that as I get ready to swing on the right, I'm closing my shoulders. The reason being is that in a more front arm dominant or body controlled swing, we are closing the shoulders at the start because we're getting ready to use a lot of our shoulder rotation, our torso rotation to hit the ball it's involved in the hit. Whereas on the left, it's really much more of a back arm dominant and arm controlled swing where we extend outward toward contact with the arms being more in control of delivering power. And you can see my shoulders start open on the left and they pretty much aren't involved in the hit. The rotation doesn't matter so much. On the right, you can see it's my rotation that's really squaring the barrel. The bigger, stronger muscles in your body reside in your trunk, in your torso, in your legs. And to get your trunk more involved in the swing is just a much more powerful way to do it. But above and beyond that, this is that popular teaching, keep that front shoulder closed. That way we can build up momentum while our front shoulder is still closed. We haven't committed so much to the pitch. What you see from arm controlled hitters is that like the guy on the left here, their shoulders are open way too early in the swing and they've pushed their hands out towards the ball. And once they do this, it's very hard to stop the momentum. Whereas on the right, you can get your momentum going without opening that front shoulder. You get momentum going by closing the front shoulder actually. So let's take a look at Griffey's swing. Griffey exemplifies the body controlled swing. Look at how closed his front shoulder gets as he's striding in towards the ball. This is just something you want to do in a body controlled swing. It's not, it's not something that you have to teach. I don't have to say, okay, now take some swings focusing on closing your front shoulder. Griffey is closing the shoulder because he's getting ready to rotate it open. And obviously you want a negative move to precede the positive move and the negative move here is closing that front shoulder. Another thing that closing the front shoulder helps with is getting hit by the pitch. We need defense at the plate. I mean, the, the fact that getting hit by the pitch isn't taught is laughable. I mean, we have to, if we're going to feel 100% comfortable at the, at the plate, we're going to have to practice our defensive moves. And it's much easier to get into a good position quickly to get hit by the pitch if your front shoulder is this closed. Because all Griffey has to do from here is turn his head away from the pitcher, drop his hands, and he's ready to get hit by the pitch. Conversely, somebody like Derek Jeter, who has a very arm controlled swing, would always open up towards the pitcher almost immediately. And he's gotten his hand hit and it's led to him having to sit out. Keeping the front shoulder in is just another advantageous position that's promoted by being more of a body controlled front arm dominant hitter.